All right, we also have uh, uh, essentially uh, tax treaty issues uh, where uh, uh, now the door from Singapore seems to have been closed or at least seems to have been closed. Pranay Bhatia is our partner direct tax at BDO India. Pranay, th good morning, thanks very much for joining us. First of all, if you can just in a sense tell us what was happening before and what has happened now or what will not happen now. Right. So in terms of uh, the treaty amendments, uh, so before the amendment, if an investor invested in Indian uh, shares from Singapore, uh, the gain that it, it, it earns from the sale of shares were not taxable in India. They have now re, uh, signed a revised treaty specifically to say that going forward from 1st April 17 onwards, mm -hmm. if there are investment, there will be some tax on the gain uh, in relation to the new investment which will come up. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an essentially the treaty amendment which they have signed up. Now this is not new because they've already signed up with Mauritius, they've also signed up with uh, Cyprus. Uh, so this is a, in that sense, a continuation to the EFA, uh, to the efforts of uh, cl closing all the doors for capital gains tax exemption. So if I understand correctly, you're saying before, if I came through Singapore or Mauritius, even if it was an unlisted company, I would actually pay no capital gains tax. But if I was a resident Indian selling my shares which are unlisted, I actually would. So I was kind of disadvantaged compared to a foreigner doing it or an Indian doing it through Mauritius or Singapore. That's right. That's okay. right. And that's gone now. That's gone now. That's okay. going. All right. Uh, you know, just before the break, you, I mean, just before, uh, you know, I, I came to you, mentioned to me, some things didn't happen. What was it that didn't happen? Uh, I think under the, uh, I think I'm, I'm just comparing what is done under the Mauritius Treaty, for example. One big change under the Mauritius Treaty is the interest deduction. Uh, the interest uh, which is paid by the Indian entity to a Mauritian resident, for example, mm -hmm. will suffer only 7.5% withholding tax going forward, which is April 17 onwards which continues to be 15% under India-Singapore Treaty. So we were, uh, as, as a consultants, were looking at, you know, saying that can, can the rate for withholding tax also come down for the interest. But I think that's where I think uh, Mauritius is treating, uh, is, uh, is scoring some points there. So I think uh, if you compare apples to apples and between Mauritius and Singapore, I think Mauritius has some advantages in terms of the interest withholding rate. Mm -hmm. So if I understand you correctly, if I was sitting in Singapore or in Mauritius before, I set up a company in India, put 5 crores in it. Then through some arrangement with somebody abroad, I sold it for 500 crores. I had a capital gains of 450 crores. Are you telling me before I would get all of this tax exempt? Uh, so essentially, this would be one of the biggest routings of black money in the world. Forget about demonetization. That's, that's exactly what uh, the government is trying to uh, close the doors on. Uh, if you look at the press release uh, released by Indian government as well as the Singapore government, they both are talking of closing the loops on uh, black money generation. Uh, yes, you, you're right, in, in, an, in a hypothetical situation or in, a, in the example that you are giving, it appears to be so. But it's not that easy because you still need to have your uh, tax residency certificate from uh, Singapore coming through. You need to sh uh, show the valuation reports to the Reserve Bank of India. So it's not sure. as easy as you know it, it sounds. Sure. Now, Pranay, I just want to take uh, two uh, systems uh, around the world. One is the U.S. system, which taxes worldwide income. So it really doesn't matter where you live, what you do, you get a foreign uh, uh, tax credit, and that's about it. The rest you pay in the U.S. And then I want to take the Hong Kong system, or maybe even Thailand or Malaysia. No tax on capital gains. I mean, that's it. You just don't pay capital gains tax. Which way are we headed? Because are we headed to the U.S. model worldwide taxation on all Indians of Indian origin or are we headed to the Hong Kong model which finally says, well, why are you taxing capital gains, period? No, I, I don't think we are headed in either of the direction. We continue as we Indians always want to continue in our own way. So we'll continue our own way. Uh, I think to uh, go to a U.S. kind of a system where you have a worldwide taxation, I think we have a long way to go. And uh, I'm not too sure if the government, if the current government in the remaining tenure would look to do, do something as radical as that. Right. Uh, in terms of the giving complete exemption, I think uh, the government has made statements in past, enough statements in past to say India is not a tax heaven. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't have a capital gains tax exemption completely. Mm -hmm. You will have to pay some tax and that's what is, uh, is happening through their treaty amendments. Okay. And so if uh, somebody is uh, listening and wondering, Mauritius is shut, Singapore is shut, Cyprus is shut. Does India have any other tax treaty somewhere where it's not shut as yet? <laughs> I don't think there are, treaty, uh, there are treaties which are available. Okay. I think but the language under the treaty is, uh, I don't know whether consciously or otherwise, uh, left uh, in a limbo. So when the Mauritius Treaty first came about, the amendment, 
the treaty has the word shares mm -hmm. does it mean it has an interplay to uh, leave some options open for a debenture holder right. now it's not that you know the government doesn't know about the debentures there are a number of loopholes which are open again still under the india mauritius treaty mm -hmm. and we were hoping that you know some clarity will be there in terms of the next treaty which gets revised maybe a cyprus maybe a singapore or there will be some clarification but we are awaiting number of clarifications that's not that yet all right, Prayer. Thanks very much uh, for joining us today in the morning and uh, walking us through that training season's greetings to you. Thank you. All right, let's uh, get back uh, to the markets. Uh, Pranoy has been looking at futures and options, uh, and he has a very tough job because before December. Uh,